Hello and welcome to the Clashing of Steel. So today I'm showing you or I'm teaching you how to play the Architecta, which are the small ballistas. They deploy really fast and undeploy as fast as well. Since they are with somewhat limited range, they may require constant repositioning and constant or a dedicated defender to help you reposition them without any interference. For my commander, I have chosen Commander Sala because he has the mobility benefits, he has the whip ability, and he can also support other units with prescription if need may arise. As you can see, there is uh, Raconian, who is my dedicated uh, defender. He will try to hold bottleneck areas and defend my Architecta. Deploying Architecta requires a unit to stand still for a few seconds when they are formed. You can see it right here. They didn't deploy right away, but it took about a second or two to manage themselves up. The range is quite long as well. It isn't as long as the catapult, but maybe half of its range, or maybe a little bit less. I think that higher tier units also get some range increase, and depending on ammo types you also can get range increase. Their deployment is a lot faster than the catapults. They do quite a lot of damage and can probably outrange other archer units. Probably the biggest minus is that when they are deployed, their area of engagement is fixed. Like, this is the only area that I can shoot. I can't shoot straight down the hill, although I can shoot in the distance. Also, every ground, every unit that stays in the way can affect your units. Although at some distance the bolts will fly over your units and hit the enemies, while they are engaged, I still would not suggest shooting because you'll do lots of friendly fire. Right now you can see these units destroying archers. They're doing actually quite a lot of damage. Well, I am focusing all three against a single unit, so they're pretty much wrecking the archers. Although archers can do some damage, my bolts are still a lot stronger and can destroy them. So, right now I'm just covering that hill over there, trying to shoot at the archers to destroy the ranged units, seeing as I'm the only ranged here. Actually, a decent archer can probably nuke down the ballistas quite fast using the barrage or focus fire or some other nasty ability. I can't stay at this position forever as well. There isn't a lot of targets I can hit right now. Right now there are only the archers and they're escaping. Since they are wrecked, I might as well leave them be and reposition myself soon. There is a little battle going down next to me or down from the hill. I can't uh, shoot down from the hill directly at least, although I am having few ideas. I am positioning my units uh, so that I could be able to support. Unfortunately, they are still a bit far, and that's why I am probably going to need to move them a bit closer to the ledge. Although they are hitting few opponents, they are still doing somewhat friendly fire. There aren't uh, too many friendly troops, the situation is pretty much equal. Soon some opponents are gonna join in, two swordsmen should be coming around from the middle area up the hill at some point. But for now I have repositioned my ballistas to the edge and they are actually doing some damage. Although there is some friendly fire, I'm still considering shooting because there aren't too many friendly units left and I want to take care of the pikemen. Unfortunately I have got forgotten about my two units back there, one is undeployed and the other one just undeployed. So now you can see these guys engaging. There should actually be another group of swordsmen back there. And one of my plan is to send one of my units there to set up a list so that I can shoot at those swordsmen. Although I could do it right here, I feel that I might do some damage to my friendlies. And it's also a great way to test out how the ballistas work. So I'm eliminating the remnants of the pikemen and I'm setting up my ballistas here as well. So this is probably one of the better locations, seeing as they can shoot directly at any opponent on this high point without doing too much friendly fire. So there are two groups of swordsmen. With those two units, I actually have to shoot over the friendly units that have already engaged them. But the one at the side, which I pulled down back there, he can actually shoot quite directly and avoid doing damage to my friendly troops. So this is one of the ways I guess you can 
play the architect. It all depends on the location and the situation, of course. So, another map, another gameplay. And here I'm at Maratta. So, setting my units up, I have a quite a long view to cover the middle area. It's a bit over half of the map. You can see it here. Kind of like uh, a bit over this middle-ish area up there and here's my first victim <coughs> I mean uh, worthy opponent so I'm setting all three units to attack this one it will actually shoot uh, them for quite a while even when they're out of the range actually uh, it might be because of the remnants that are left behind you can still see the arrows flying like this should be the last ones of course I can't just uh, stay there and cover this middle area all the time. I need to reposition, move forward and uh, hopefully my teammate will cover me as well. But the main focus is that if you want to play Architectus in the middle of the open areas, you need to have a designated defender, someone who is most likely using spearmen or pikemen to hold off the cavalry which can wreck you real fast. You can see the pikemen walking behind me or running behind me. I also don't have to focus on a single direction to cover it all three. As you'll see quite soon I'm going to turn one of my architectures towards the forest to cover well my engaging units to give them some support. At this point I told my friend to move away because I didn't want to do any damage to him. So there are quite a lot of opponents there. I don't want to shoot those that are engaged, I might do some friendly fire. But here I have another predicament, there are riders running pretty much in front of me. So I should probably reposition myself because the pikemen aren't as fast to come to my defense as you might expect. Also deploying them might uh, wreck me. So setting myself up again, this is another position I can use quite uh, decently. I should probably also set up two units towards the front, towards the middle-ish area. There is some action going on there as well. I don't want to put all my units to support the forest because I'm at a somewhat bad, bad angle. If I would put all of my three units to attack the forest, I would probably do more harm at this uh, angle, as I said before. So attacking the middle area is actually quite useful right now. I'm doing lots of damage to the spearmen and they're slightly ignoring me or not paying attention. So, it might not be the wisest of moves to disengage. And in the forest I'm supporting lightly. So, the main things you might want to notice when playing Architecta is that you have someone who will dedicatedly defend you. Keep you out of harm's way, because you are really easy to kill actually. Secondly, you always want to be active. You want to redeploy or undeploy and redeploy yourself uh, in many different locations and also the direction must be right. Also the angle can't be too sharp so that you can't shoot practically in front of you down off a cliff. You should more often probably focus the heavy armored units because you have quite a lot of penetration damage. You can also buy consumables to increase your range or increase your armor piercing damage to be more effective. Or if you want to try out a combination of units, for example the swordsman and two units of architecte it might be better to buy barricades to help defend your sides. There are many different tactics you can use. You can use forests to conceal yourself and set up an ambush while setting up the barricades or stakes. But probably the easiest way still to play is to play three units of architecte and have a dedicated defender. Because three units have significantly more firepower than just two units. You might not be the best in your team, but the damage you do affects heavy units really well. It weakens them a lot and in many occasions can even destroy them. Probably the best experience you'll have is when you play it with a friend and try it out yourself. I do not suggest using the automated fire because last time I used it, it, it kinda bugged out. It doesn't work, or if it works, it doesn't work that well. And also it might prioritize wrong targets. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching!